Is golf a game, a lifestyle, an obsession? My name's Tom Coyne, and for me, golf is connection. It's a connection with nature, with places, but most of all, with people. Now, I've traveled the world on some crazy golf adventures, and everywhere I go, I find people whose lives revolve around this little white ball. Because this isn't just a game. This is The Lynx Life. So I'm here at Tethero Resort with my good friend, David McClay Kidd and Tara McClay Kidd. Thanks so much for joining me. David, you obviously have a very special connection to this place. I have, I oh. moved here. This is my home. This our, is your home? Our home. Uh, uh, we moved here in 06. Uh, so we've been here, we're old timers now by Ben standards. Yeah. This place is booming. Uh, it's the outdoor capital of the USA. Now, if you want to ski, golf, uh, raft, fish, bike. I mean, you want to do any of it, you come here because we don't get hardly any rain. There's 300 days of sunshine. Problem is, a few of them are below freezing. <laughs> and one of them happens to be <laughs> today. <laughs> today. today. And we, are, we could both ski and golf today. Yeah. But yeah. you, so you designed this course 2006? Two, yeah, we built it in 06 and 07. Okay. And it opened in 08. And you loved it so much you live here now. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing yeah. not to love. It's a beautiful place. I probably shouldn't be telling anyone that because yeah. more people will come. Yeah. Uh, it's an absolutely gorgeous no. place. Game on. Tell me about the bounce, time. man. It is. It's all about the bounce. What do we mean? What we mean is that in a lot of American golf, the ball doesn't really bounce. It, right. it hops and it checks and it stops, or sometimes it even stops its own pitch mark. If you're playing golf on a true links or a, a true links style, if there's such a thing, right. the ball has to bounce. If it doesn't bounce, it's not real golf. <laughs> you're right. It's got to bounce. It's got to bounce. So when this happens, it goes somewhere, it goes right. left or right, you know, it's something And you have happens. to think about it. I mean, you so the story, as you, as, you, as you said before, once you hit it and the ball lands, the story's sort of just beginning, right? That's it. Yeah, and that's yeah. what's fun. It's like chapters in a, in a book to right. an author. Uh, when golf is at its most predictable, it's, it's like a, 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 a limerick, you know? Yep. It's da-da-da-da-da, or it stops. When you're playing the old course, it's a whole novel. I mean, the ball, does all this stuff uh, and you get to watch it happen it, it rolls out in front of you there's yeah. a story unfolding and without that story golf loses part of its essence well said well said not bad for an architect <laughs> holes three through six david Kid Here. Corner. Kid I Corner. Call it that. No, David so humbly named it after I, himself. I, not me. <laughs> uh, the the members and the locals know that this is the hardest loop of holes, these four. Okay. So if you can get out of here and your card's still in one piece, you, you could be in for a good day. But All right. especially four and five, six, two a little bit, but four and five are hard golf holes. So can we rename it Coin Corner? Yeah, even or better, uh, and I'll be impressed. Let's okay. see how you we're gonna have, it. We're gonna put a plaque. So David, the reception here was that this is a is a very difficult golf course, but you know, five holes in, I found the fairways they're hard to miss, they're, right? They're white, yeah. and and you know, with the fescue, you know, there are a lot of different options. But why do you think that you know folks are coming out here and saying, oh, it's a, you know, it's a difficult golf course, or they were at least? I, I don't think that the difficulty for the average golfer is in the golf course. I think it's in their approach to this golf course. Uh, if you try and uh, just keep the ball in play, hitting the fairways, don't try and mash it 300 yards. Mm -hmm. You can hit 120 yards, it will roll 50 or 60 yards. Right. And then when you get to the greens, the minute that you can put a putter in your hand or a rescue club and bump it along the ground and use contours, that's what you need to do. Ooh. 
All right, so David's favorite term in golf is signature hole as a designer. <laughs> I'll go with cover girl. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll this give you is that. the cover girl. It's a signature hole. Um, 17? 17. All right, so. Looking at the mountains, although today, not much view of the mountains, but if, if they were there, we'd be looking at them. Well, it's an awesome looking par three. And more importantly than cover girl or signature hole, it's my chance See, to get back in you're this. You're not doing well on I'm not spins. doing well. Three? Three. One. But this, this one's four, three. This one's four, three. Consider it done. So uh, I need I need to make it happen. Need to make a move. Oh, it's pretty. It is pretty. It's coming back. It's Come on back. Come on back. All right, we like it. We like it. Is that good? No. Come on. Well done, Sue. Who is it? Who's mine? <laughs> Gets it. Gets it back. Three, three, and one. Jumps right to the top of the leaderboard. I'd like to thank Titleist and my parents. So we all saw what happened there, folks. Uh, Tara, can you describe what just happened on number 17? Tom totally nailed it. He nailed it. It was a great shot in. You only just missed the part, but you hold it for a three, so you, you took the three skins. It was Thank you. Pretty awesome to watch. It's yeah. been a shakeup on the scoreboard. All right, 18. This looks awesome. Par five. Hard dog leg left. Okay. Uh, if you're going to hit driver from this tee, you've got to challenge the corner. I'm if you go down the middle, you're going to drive it right through. Is so there any? I see a corner. I just think. Clubhouse. you got to aim at the clubhouse. Challenge it. This could be coin corner. Coin corner? This could yeah. be coin corner. i got to get my plaque on. Name on some sort of plaque out here. All right. Oh, killed it. You're talking about the strategy of an individual golf hole. Right. It's following along on the adventure you're having. Yeah. And the people you're meeting and the, the landscapes you're exploring and your description of them. I don't really care if the third hole's a par four. Neither do I. Uh, I want to hear about the <laughs> landscape you're in and the, yeah. you know, the, ex the, the, I don't think your readers do. I, th I think they're no. wrapped up in the... That book would be boring to me, so I'm not, you know, so I try not to write a book that I'd be bored by. <laughs> <laughs>